Hey, 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 everybody. I'm Adam. I'm an artist. This is Mother Fluffer. Uh, she only has three legs. She's also a, she's a nap artist, right? Yeah? Okay. And I disturbed her. I'm going to go draw some stuff. You want to help? Okay. Let's go draw <laughs> some stuff. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. I'm AC. This is AC Draw Stuff. So today we're going to be working with uh, some neon acrylic leather paint by Angelus. And on the box this says, will not crack or peel, water-based for easy cleanup, mixable for countless custom colors. Um, I only use these, uh, I've only used these mostly, almost entirely on my toy design uh, projects with my sculpting, epoxy, and different clays. And they work really well. Uh, but I've never really uh, dove into them on paper, especially not my sketchbook paper. So this is kind of a first for me. And what I'm doing is I'm, I want to do Mother Fluffer, my cat, and Egum and Mooj. And I tried to pick two colors for each one that kind of represented their vibe and their personality. And Mother Fluffer here is the first one, and I'll be doing a series. There will be three of these videos uh, all together when it's done. And she's an orange cat. So I, I picked the neon orange, and then I love the pink of her nose. It's a bit of a contrast, but also uh, not entirely contrasting dark and white. So those are the two I picked for her, and I'm just kind of slathering them randomly in these streaks on the paper. That was Mother Fluffer and Egu doing what they do all day long is just sit together. <laughs> uh, but lately I've been looking at a lot of abstract stuff and abstract painting can be so very interesting if you look at it in so much more than what you initially take in and see. And uh, I've seen a couple of people um, doing just big splotches of color and then really dark contrasting lines and that's what I wanted to do here and I thought these three characters uh, would be best perfect su perfectly suited for this uh, I'm using my Copic sketch marker my black I think it's a number 100 and I just sketched out her face and then slapped down some uh, some streaky colors uh, just a little bit of that pink and I basically just wanted to get the idea of it's not even the shape of her head the lines are gonna come through and make the drawing what it actually is which is her face uh, the only thing with her that i wish i could work into every piece that i do is she has three she only has three legs she's missing an arm her right arm uh, that she, she was in an accident uh, before i got her and i wish i could work that into every piece because it's such part of why she's so grumpy and why she she always looks angry which she's the sweetest cat i've ever met um, but she always looks like this so I've got my pencils down that I laid down before the neon uh, paints. And now I'm just kind of like filling that, going over that, inking if you will, but also being pretty liberal with the black. And uh, not really, you know, there's not really a lesson here other than I would say if you do a piece like this, experiment and go as wild as you want. I love the idea of like, there's the idea of coloring outside the lines, you know, that we all learned in uh, grade school, what not to do when you're coloring in a coloring book. And here I'm kind of keeping the colors within the lines and, and doing lines outside of the colors. And I love the idea of that uh, and, and how it can uh, really make a piece pretty unique. Um, getting rid of those excess uh, pencil lines and I let everything dry before I went in with the, with the blacks. I let my neon paints dry. And uh, the only thing she's missing is her whiskers, and that's pretty much the piece. So thanks for tuning in. It was a quick one, but this was a lot of fun. And the other two, I love the colors that I chose. And uh, come back in the next few days. Uh, over the next week, I'll probably post these three, the other two, uh, so you can see how they turned out. If you want to support the channel, just watch my, watch my videos, uh, share them, like, subscribe. 
And uh, there's links in the description below for my Patreon and my big cartel shop. And uh, I'm always open for commissions. So thanks for stopping by, y'all. Take care. Sit, Muji, sit. Good dog. <laughs>